Sometimes we let ourselves fall into this routine, this type of life where you wake up, work, eat, watch Netflix, sleep, wake up, work, eat, watch Netflix, sleep, work, eat, sleep, repeat. You feel pressured at work or in your personal life to attend events that you don't even want to go to. You feel that you're constantly rushing. You perhaps feel that you don't have enough time to do the things that you would like to. Or you perhaps feel that changing something will help. How? Oh. And you don't know where to start. Then this video is for you. Today we'll be discussing six habits that will change your life. We often get excited for big things in life, like for example, a wedding, baby, born, promotion, but sometimes we forget just to praise the little victories in life. Like for example, handing in a paper, handing in that report that you were working late until the evening, getting up from bed for some people, finishing the studying for a chapter. Whether it's a small thing or a big thing, just praise yourself. Praising the little things is essential because they comprise the vast majority of our life. Not often we get a promotion or a wedding or a newborn is born. However, when you neglect the little things, you miss out on enjoying a vast majority of your life. So next time that you get out of bed or handing a report or finish a chapter studying, remember to praise yourself. Make a little dance, eat a cookie, go for a well-deserved walk, the bigger the event, the bigger the celebration. However, do not neglect those small victories on the day-to-day. -day. The other day, I came with this quote. It said something like, The bad news is time flies, the good news is you're the pilot. There are a few constants in our life that we cannot control, and time is one of it. So instead of wondering and losing time doing things that you don't want to do or being forced to go to that event you don't want to you might as well take control over your time and the activities and the things you do with it and do something that literally makes it worth your time and hear me out i'm not saying that you should quit your job and open the cupcake store that you've been always wanting to do it what i'm saying is that you should maybe work on your free time instead of binge watching five episodes of netflix in a row in one day that's maybe five hours just spend those five hours doing something that makes it worth your time. For example, work on that idea that you have of opening the cupcake store or read a book, something that you really want to do. I mean, if you do want to binge watch five Netflix episodes, be my guest, but I would suggest think, what do you get from it? Am I learning something at the moment? Am I just spending my time, wasting my time on social media scrolling? Just do sports, you will get healthier. Just read a book, you'll get more knowledge. Watch a documentary, you'll get more knowledge. Plan new business idea, learn a new hobby. Literally take control of your time and make good use of it because that's the only thing you can control, what you do with your time. No one likes doing things that they don't enjoy doing. To a networking event or going out partying with your friends after an exhausting week. Sometimes we just don't feel like going and we say no, but then they're like, oh, come on, just come. We'll have one beer. He went out. He had more than one beer. His life spiraled down from there. He missed the job interview he had the next day. No, just kidding. Let's go back to the story that didn't happen. You just say no. At the beginning you said no, and maybe it's worth it. Yeah, maybe you'll have time. Maybe you know that oh, I can't just go. But if you say no, stick to no. No means no. Whatever you say you do. You don't have time, then no, it's no. You don't want to do something, then no, it's no. That doesn't mean that sometimes it's worth it, as I mentioned. Maybe you know that going out partying with your friends will give you the extra energy that you want or you miss them and you want to see them. However, there's moments where we say no, it's no, and we really need to stick to it. So no, it's no. Just learn to say no when it means no. That's a lot of no's, by the way, but no. Our fourth habit to change is having a to-do list. Using the to-do list will help you to be more productive. Whether that to-do list is from things to do during the month, during the week, during the year. Having a to-do list will help you to be more organized. But once you cross it off the list, you'll get that feeling of dopamine hit, and that's nice. I've been doing this for a long time, and it's probably the number one tip I give every new joiner of the company, and it's block your time. It happens quite often that someone wants to schedule a meeting during lunchtime, 
and I have a dog, so I like going sometimes for a walk with my dog during my lunch time. But if they schedule a meeting, then you're not able to go out and then you feel like you're still pressure working and you've been working since 8 a.m. At 1, 12, you wanna have lunch. And it sometimes happens that if you don't have that time on the agenda blocked, people will book a meeting on top of it. And then you'll have to attend the meeting during your lunch time. For me, what help is blocking time. So whether I want it to be a deep work time or if literally for a task I need to accomplish by the end of the day, I book two or three hours on my agenda and that will help me have a clear outlook of when I'm gonna do it and also have time blocked such that no one can put it on top. No one can put a meeting on top of that scheduled deep work time that I set or free time, let's say. I think this one is probably one of the most important habits to have and it's literally blocking your time. So you have blocked your time to do uh, hang out with your friends, block your time to go for a walk or block your time to have a lunch break. So blocking your time, it's probably one of the most important habits you should change. This leads to doing more of what makes you happy. Whether this is spending time with your friends, family, or whether this is creating YouTube videos like me, doing sports or reading, just do it. So you block your time, then you do more of the things that make you happy during that time. You don't want to be 80 years old and then look back into what you have done and just wish that you would have worked less. Because when you're 80, you don't have the energy to go out traveling or go out hanging with friends. You will want to be 80 and say, hey, look what I've done. I've achieved all of this and I still did all the thing, everything that I wanted to do, everything that made me happy. It's easy to say but hard to achieve. However, if you block the time, have it on your to-do list, make it a priority, take control of your time, you'll be able to do whatever makes you happy. After all, we have only one life. So we better live it, right?